Oh my gosh, what's up Libra? What is up guys? Hi, how are you? Yes, I'm doing the reading. Wow, I know it's been like two months. It really has. I have had the craziest two months of my life, really. Um, you know, it's just been one thing after another after another. I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't mean to skip the horoscope, horoscopes, but, you know, in the big line of priorities of things in my life, I have a lot on my plate right now, and I'm very grateful to have that, but um, horoscopes are not the number one thing, so I'm really sorry. I love you guys. Please don't think that I was abandoning you. I got a lot of emails, guys, and, I, and DMs and messages on Etsy and everything else, so... Um, I love you. I'm here for you. I just, I, you know, I got to prioritize my time, but we're back. So yay. Um, so we're going to do your horoscope for August. What the hell's going on Libra? What is up? I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I don't even know what's going on with my Libras. I feel so out of touch. I'm a Libra rising, so I should know, I guess, but you know, I don't date. I don't, I don't, I don't play around with the, the nonsense in the love department because I haven't got time for that. I'm a businesswoman. Damn it. Speaking of business, um, Empress, or Empress, wow, why did I say that? I'm an Empress, that's what I am, I'm an Empress, yeah, that's right. Okay, magic oil this month, sample is Saint Expedite Oil. If you don't know who Saint Expedite is, he is an incredible saint uh, who is known for bringing uh, things very expeditiously, so very quickly. Um, he works on all kinds of cases, love, money. I offer a spell to him in my shop, I work with him very often. And also, uh, I made an oil dedicated to him with all of his favorite offerings and filled with er herbs, roots, and oils that are intended to bring speed to your work. So if you're doing magic and you need an oil that's going to speed up your spells, this is it. It's a free sample that comes with every product order in the shop this month. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Spirit Guides Universe, Guardian Angels and Ancestors, this reading is for the zodiac sign of Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. All right, Libra. Okay, so Libra, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, I do a nine card spread. It's um, three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. I also clarify, I do bottom of the deck overview, and um, I'm gonna pull some oracle cards for you guys this month as well. Libra, recent past, three cards, please. Hello. Ooh, four swords reverse. King of wands reverse. <laughs> Death reverse, there it is again. So that was the card that came out when I was shuffling earlier. It was like staring me dead in the face. Um, something trying to resurrect, to resurrect, to come back alive. It's alive. Come back around in the recent past. Present energy for Libra. Okay. Knight of Cups reverse. Wow, we have a lot going on, Libra. Ooh, Five of Wands, fighting and competition. Queen of Wands reverse, and I have the King and Queen of Wands reverse. A lot of fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy too. Now let's see, near future for Libra. Womp womp. <laughs> Ten of Swords, endings. Okay, Four of Cups, you're done with the mundane and the chariot reversed. Okay, uh, bottom of the deck, we have the star. So Aquarius energy, wishes, hopes, and dreams coming true. Also healing, big time healing energy from that. Let's pull that out. Okay, look what's right underneath it. Third party situation, Libra, come on, baby. Aren't we done with that? All right, four swords reversed. Um, hearing from someone, talking to someone, communicating with someone. Usually this, you know, I see that as electronic forms of communication. So texting, messenger, some, something like that. Sometimes it's a call. I mean, it's just talking, it's communication, but it's something that was dead or done with the death card in that, because this is also, it's deceased. You see what I mean? It's like a coffin. And when it's like this, it's resurrected. So two cards of resurrection in the past, the recent past. So, I mean, someone may have tried to resurrect something with you. You may have tried to resurrect something with someone else. Let's clarify it and see. Third party situation. Uh, here's the thing. I feel like whatever, whatever this was, either you or the other person was like, no, I'm not reconciling. Because the Three of Cups can also be a card of reconciliation. So I do feel like there was a hard and fast no put on that. Um, 
the hermit reversed Virgo possibly. Okay. Um, something or someone coming out of nowhere, coming out of hiding, the hermit hides. So this person, you may not have heard from them in months or a long time, and maybe they came out of nowhere, or you could have been you too, Libra. These, these energies can go back and forth. So, um, and then death is Scorpio, but let's see the moon reverses Pisces. Um, again, secrets being revealed. Someone, you know, someone, uh, coming out of the shadows, basically, to try to come back into your life or you doing that to someone else. Um, but there was, it was met with much resistance. Let me just say that Knight of cups is like, pump the brakes. Nope. We're not doing that. Let's clarify that when he's reversed to yeah, see, <laughs> this would be like, yeah, I, I want to be with you. I want to make a partnership, but two, you know, with you, I want to make plans. He's got the world. He's charting his plan. When he's like this, he's like, oh, hell no. I'm not even going to consider this. He's like, I'm not even going to entertain it, actually. Um, five of Wands, the fighting, the competition, the drama. Let's see. What's what's going on with Libra right now with that? Let's see. Th you know. You're like, no. You're not an emperor. Or somebody got mad at you because you were like, no. <laughs> they were like, what do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean you don't want me? It was like a Gaston moment, you know, where he walks in and he's like, Belle is the most beautiful girl in the land, and so she shall be mine, you know? And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's what happened. It feels like that's what happened. Like, somebody was so, so sure, and probably they're a narcissist, or it's you, I don't know. But um, that's usually a narcissist, too. But, like, you know, they were very full of themselves. They were, like, very sure that Libra was going to be like, okay, perfect, let's get back together, hee, hee, hee. And you didn't, and they were like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> so I feel like they got mad. I do, especially if they were a fire sign or a Virgo or a Pisces or a Scorpio. They were like, what are you, like, very angry at you. They may have turned the tables and, like, did some snarky shit or said some snarky shit, or they may have told someone else your deepest, darkest secrets that you told them before with the, with the moon reverse. They were probably like, girl, you won't believe what happened. Like you won't believe this motherfucker, blah, 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 blah. you know, and just talk shit about you to somebody else. Let's see. Who's this? King of cups, Pisces, cancer, Scorpio. It's because they're in love with you and they don't want to let you go. So your rejection is what hurt them. But, you know, you know about, you know what's best for you, Libra. You know, you're done. When you're done, 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 you're done. And it takes a long time for a Libra to be done, done, done. You know, I know I'm a Libra rising. Trust me, I, it takes forever. You have to literally like kick me square in the freaking face before I, I am like done. But once you do that, I'm really done. There's no resurrecting anything, you know? Um, so let's see what that is for Libra. I feel like probably most of you are like that too. It takes a long time to get there. You really have to work at it. But once you get there, you're staying. <laughs> you're out of it. See, you used to be on your head about them or the situation or the job or whatever it was. But now you're like, I am free as a bird. I am not... I'm not even stuck in this in my head anymore. I'm completely out of it, and I know I'm out of it, and you're not, you're, you are looking forward without any regret, you know? You know you did the right thing. Four of Cups, again, we have another offer and another rejection. This offer is coming from a little shitty gray cloud. He's like, I don't take offers from little shitty gray clouds. I have three full cups, thank you very much. I don't need your shitty cup, you know? He doesn't. And uh, that's what you're doing. You're rejecting the offer. <laughs> Another Scorpio card, but the tower reversed. They're not giving up. They want you back come hell or high water. All right. They really, really, really want to get back with you. They want to rebuild this tower. Um, but you're kind of working on rebuilding your own tower, I think, is what's happening here. You're uh, either that or you're trying very hard to keep the tower from crumbling over. It's like that game of Jenga where you're like pulling the last piece out, you know, and you're like, oh, don't fall. You're just, it's on its last thread and you just don't want it to collapse. But, you know, you can't, when the tower comes, baby, the tower comes, you, you can't, you have to let it fall. I mean, you can try to not let it fall, but that's not gonna really work. You're gonna have to do that. Chariot reverse could be the card of cancer. The zodiac sign, Cancer. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see. 
but it usually it means stop, right? Because the chariot is go, and that means no go. Yeah, you're done. Uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Some of you guys, this is a divorce. The Hierophant reverse is under here. This is pulling back on the commitment or the investment in the relationship or the stability. Also, it could be money. Um, so you are, if you're financially tied to this person, for some of you, you'll be like, no more money for you. I'm done. I am cutting you off like a little steak. All right, so let's do some oracle cards for you guys. Um, okay, so love angel oracles. Ooh, honeymoon, not, not fitting for this reading at all. That's why I don't like these cards. I should make my own love angel deck, shouldn't I? Like a, not a love angel deck, but like a love deck. I think I'm going to. Um, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And then release your ex. That's, that's the right card. Um, the time has come to clear your energy. And one more. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> the signs are cautioning you. So again, I feel like Libra, please pay attention to the red flags. You guys have a bad habit of sugar coating things or putting rose colored glasses on and looking at a situation like, oh, but they, they're, you know, they're really great on the inside. I just, I know that they have it in them. I know that they, this can work and they're a good person. No, honey, sometimes they're not, <laughs> you know, and you got to accept that and learn how to recognize those red flags. Those, that intuition that you ignore is what can save your life. That's why it's there, you know? Um, all right. So Moonology Oracle, the, these are so good. They're just so accurate. Like it's insane. Watch it'll, it'll match this reading perfectly. I'm sure. All right. You got two. So I'll take them both. It says your commitment is being tested, <laughs> which is literally what I just said with the page of pentacles reversed. And then you are good enough. So it's full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. And first quarter moon in the commitment ones. Let's do them both. So let's do your commitment is being tested first quarter moon first. What the heck? Okay. Special moon cards. Where is that? Disseminating moon, gibbous moon. Oh, here it is. Okay, there could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works? Do you believe your dreams will come true, or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you, so believe in yourself. Um, the tune to the moon is, I am committed to my dreams and move towards them with confidence. And then additional meanings is, the answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. And sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something and you need to recommit to someone or something. All right, that's number one. Full moon in Virgo. It says, it's time to be really honest with yourself and understand what's led you to ask your question. Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? Humility is good, but it can go too far. And drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flash, just quietly cer certain that you are good enough. At the other end of the scale, uh, you also need to honestly answer this question. Have you been too picky? The full moon in Virgo card needs some truthful answers. Once you've given them, it should be easier to see how you got where you are. Your next step should then be more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings results. The tune to the moon is find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your life. Additional meanings for this card is worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. Ma'am, that is literally my mantra. I need to remember that. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about, which is a law of attraction, right? It's, it's true, you know? Um, have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. 
Stop second guessing yourself and raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. That's always like, I give good advice when I do my spells and that is one of it right there. Do good, raise good karma, you know, do something good for somebody else. All right, guys. So here's the thing. If you need a personal reading, I am taking them through Etsy. I am booked a couple weeks out right now. All right. Um, but here's the thing. I am offering one question, one answer readings, probably very temporarily. I don't know. I'm testing it out to see how this goes. If I can do it and fit it in my schedule, I'll, I'll continue to do it. But I don't know if that's going to be feasible per my agreement with the company I'm working with. I do have to get those turned around very quickly. So you will see delivery times when you go in there as well. And they are guaranteed to get to you by that time. So if you want a very fast turnaround, one question, one answer reading with me, um, now would be the time to check that out. It's not something that I typically offer. So if you are interested in getting a reading with me and you have not had one yet, or you're an existing client and want that, please do check it out. Link will be down below. And also write regular delivery readings and all of that are linked in my Etsy shop too. You can check that out as well. All right, guys, love you. Have a beautiful month. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.